What is up guys and welcome back to another Reed Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So first off I want to say a big thank you to you guys. I hit my target of 200 subs. Well absolutely smashed it. Um, but yeah thank you so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you are new to the channel please do subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. The other bit of exciting news I have is I'm going to be working on the Raid Awards. So a big shout out to the Saffron Man who's given me the opportunity to work on this. I'm all, I've already been doing uh, bits and pieces here and there, and I'm so pumped. It looks amazing, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, but yeah, the Saffron Man, the guy is an absolute legend. He does this all off his own back, and he does it for the community, and he does it for content creators as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop his Twitch and his Discord uh, in the description below. So and his YouTube, his YouTube, his Twitch, and his Discord. So please go check him out. Um, for his Discord, though, if you want to learn more about the Raid Awards or get involved please drop in his discord and also it's just a great place to hang out and have a bit of banter as well a bit of fun um, but yeah so the raid awards will be dropping around christmas time so please do go check it out it is just gonna really put you in the mood for the festive season and you know it's gonna be so fun and you're gonna have a good laugh so definitely worth watching um but yeah so let's get into why we're here today we are be uh putting some shards so let's see i've got 275 shards um so it's a free to play player end game you get about 100 to 150 uh, ancient shards every six weeks. Um, and I only pull on two times at the moment. Um, but I've been saving. I did skip one because I wanted to save um, some shards for when a guarantee champion comes. So I'm hoping that they um, drop another. It's a, uh, what's it? Uh, Candrophon. See if I can get him. But um, yeah. And if anyone's pulling shards today, good luck. Well, anyone pulling shards over this weekend, good luck. I hope you get who you want. But I'm not going to pull all of them. I do want to save 150 just in case um, someone tasty comes along. Doom Priest, great champion. If you do get her, she's definitely worth investing in. Um, she cleanses and she heals. Um, and that's all she really does is just her passive. is just so amazing. But there's so much content you can clear with her. Um, I use her in Doom Tower. Um, she's great for Hydra. You can use her in dungeons and stuff. Not really for Arena. But yeah, she's great in so many places. Venom Age is one of my favorite champions now. Um, you can use him in secret rooms. Um, what else does Venom Age do? He can solo so much content. Um, and yeah, he's just an absolute beast. Um, and yeah, and in fact, even like Lizard Man Faction Wars, he will just smash that out of the park for you. So definitely a champion worth investing in. Any other tasty champions? No, not really. Um, but yeah, legendary wise, there's so many champions I'd love to get. Oh, Vogoth. I think this is my fault. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Glacier Soul Guide. That is a dupe for me. Um, I probably pulled her about three months ago. She's a pretty solid champion, but I've not, um, actually bothered investing in her, but she's got a pretty cool kit. Um, so yeah, she sort of does like, she freezes the enemy and she does block debuffs. And yeah, it's all about like sort of freezing and stuff with her. But she's a really cool champion. Um, great for arena defense. I don't think there's much else where you'd use her, but she's a pretty cool champion. So that is, I'm hoping I get someone else. Um, to be fair though, whenever I've pulled um, on two times in the past, pulling 150 shards, um, I've never got more than two legendaries and 150 shards, which is pretty lame. Um, definitely feel that uh, Polarium should bump up that... Uh, you know, legendary chance of getting a legendary, but you know, don't see that happening. Oh, and we've already out of space. Okay, so just gonna clear a little bit more space. I'll be right back. And we're back. So just another little tip. And um, what I do is instead of crunching that food down, I put it in my reserve vault. And then what I'll do is when there's like a next champion training event, I'll take this all out, start leveling it up and feed that. So that's a good way to save your food resources. So let's go, go back to pulling shards. So I'm going to pull another 60. And hopefully that will be enough for me to uh, get my champion chase and get that final legendary book. Because they are hard to come by. Oh, oh another legendary. Oh, Shem, Shemnath. This is a new one. I don't actually know anything about her. Don't know if she's any good. Oh, okay, so she looks like the Statue of Liberty. Um, okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool looking champion. Not seen her in arena though. Okay, so attacks all enemies two times. The first hit removes all buffs. Okay, the second will ignore 20% of the target's defense um, against that targets that have no active buffs. Okay, okay, that's pretty strong. 
um, increases this champion's accuracy by 10 by for each buff on each enemy. Okay. Increases this champion's crit damage by 5 for each debuff on each enemy. Stacks to 100%. Okay, so that's quite interesting. So I was thinking, um, there's a problem with one of these like types of champions is that, um, you know, you want them to be a nuka. So you want to put them in savage gear and you want them to have like attack chest and attack boot if you can and a crit damage gauntlet. But then the problem is you need a really high accuracy as well. So it's really difficult to balance that. Um, but with this passive, that's definitely going to help. Um, transfers all debuffs from this champion onto the enemy's target. Then attacks three times. The first hit increases the duration of all buffs. Second, yada yada. Okay, not really interested. And third one, attacks one enemy two times and has a 30% chance of placing decreased defense. Okay, 50-50. So there's a good chance that she'll put decreased defense on them as well. So she looks like a really interesting champion. Um, I don't know if she'll be that amazing for Arena. It's, I think it's what... This is like one of those champions that she sounds quite cool and quite interesting, but you really, um, I think, have to go in the arena and actually test her. Um, so let's see how have I actually got that final uh, points. Yes, I have. Okay, I'm going to stop putting there then. Um, but yeah, and if I didn't reach my target, what I was going to do is just show you this quickly. Where is it? My fusions. So when you're free to play... Um, you got a horde. Being a hoarder is a good quality in raid. So I've been holding on to all these champions. Um, I mainly hold on to them for CVC. And basically, um, you know, if we're quite close to winning or the enemy teams like sort of just overtaken us, what I'll do is I'll just start summoning these champions just to get and like you know that's like I can't remember how many points is now twenty k, thirty k. I think it used to be thirty k for a void and maybe twenty for a legendary. But that's what I'll start doing, and that just helps give us that lead and, and get that win. But yeah, okay, so, do you know what, um, let's just do 30 more. You never know, you may get a third, I doubt it. But yeah, it looks like I've broken my the real deal curse. Um, that, yeah, so, yeah, looking looking forward to leveling her out and seeing what she's all about. Um, got some future videos coming up soon as well, so... Um, there's like a new uh, team that I've been working on for... Oh my god, here we go. Black Knight, another dupe. Okay, I'm not going to moan though. Three legendaries out of 150. That's the first time for me. So I'm so chuffed for that. Um, but yeah, Black Knight is a really cool champion. He's an OG guy. Um, he's not like super amazing, but I know he's really good for one of the secret rooms. I think it's the HP uh, force only champions. So he can carry you through that. So yeah, he's a pretty cool champion. Um, basically, he just does like a bit of healing and like support base and, and a bit of CC as well. But yeah, really cool champion. So yeah, I guess I, I guess it was uh, worth it just uh, taking a risk there. But yeah, I've got some future video ideas coming out. So basically, um, I have cleared all of the hard um, floor secret rooms for um, Doom Tower's uh, rotation one. And I actually managed to do this one quite easily. I, you know, I just sort of went with it and yeah i just managed to clear it first time couldn't believe it it wasn't actually as hard as i thought it was going to be but yeah so i'm good i want to do a video on that and i also want to do um, a video on this arena team that i've come up with um the bottom one here so yoshi foley um, i'm actually going to change that to madame and cupidus oh is it cupidus or cupid whatever his name whatever his face is um yeah this team i've been using in arena and if i work hard enough over this weekend I could probably get into gold three. Um, so that team's really cool and it's a little bit different and quite interesting. So I do want to make a video on that as well. But yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Oh, also, I'm going to do some outtakes as well. So stay tuned for those. Peace. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another raid. Legends. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another raid. Legends. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another raid. Legends. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another raid. Legends.